Welcome to Larry and Holy Island Schools. I hope you enjoy it. We want to tell you how we, how we work. Our favourite is the mantle. We've been using mantle of expert here at Larrick and Holy Island for around about six years. We find that it's a really good technique for engaging the children with their learning as it gives a purpose to what we're doing. We're going to make a fun fair for the castle and back to add up how much it was going to be for the adults and how much was it was going to be for the children. We've done um, history and that was... And we did the Victorian one. When we did the museum one we did science and we had to work out how it's a drama technique, but it's not about making a play. Mantle means putting on a cloak, if you like, and we become experts in all sorts of areas of the grown-up world. The architect. The low commission. The medium one. The um. Hilo Towers, which was an um, art gallery. The Hundred Acre. The Steam Train and um, Mansons. Wait till I mean Mansons. The Hot Horse of Hot. What we're trying to do is use how children play. When children play, they play earnestly. They really, really engage in their playing because what they're trying to do is practice for the grown up world. I like the Oracle one because they, we got to explore and it was really fun and, and we met one of the characters in school but it like didn't feel like we were in school and it was really cool. It felt like we were actually in the, in the Greek time. I liked it when and we heard all the noises when we suspected it. So we put on, we literally put on a cloak in the sense of a an invisible cloak. And we become expert. Children use technology to capture and therefore enhance their learning experience with the magic. We use staff from creative partners whenever possible to enrich the learning experience for the children and all of the staff within school, including classroom assistants, are involved when it comes to facilitating learning. My favourite thing is when we go out to see something in a different place, not inside our school. The mantle doesn't just happen within the two schools, but we go out to museums and art galleries, we use the local environment such as the local beach. In terms of impact, the mantle is an incredible vehicle for delivering the national curriculum. It gives purpose to all the activities which the children undertake. Thus, when they're writing a persuasive letter, it isn't just an academic exercise, it's real to them. If they don't persuade the managing director to follow their ideas, their company goes bust. When they're solving problems in numeracy, the questions aren't lacking context. The children are seeking to balance the books and improve their company's finances, or work out the size of a sail needed to escape the desert island upon which they've been shipwrecked. Or take history. When we were investigating castles, we became a company of architects commissioned to build a mansion for an eccentric millionaire in the style of a medieval castle. The children themselves identified the need to do the research. They chose the activity and asked to go to a castle themselves. There's the educational visit. Everything can be linked together through the mantle. When I was younger, I used to play with and the first day I joined the school, I thought it was going to be a boring old first school. Then I realised it's not. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, Christine. I'd like you to tell me, first of all, about the context of these two schools that you're working with. Okay, so what we have are two very, very small rural schools. Um, one is on the mainland at Larrick, and one is on the island, at Holy Island itself. And we are dictated every single day by the times. So some days the children will move, some days they don't. Sometimes we have the children on the morning and sometimes on the afternoon. Sounds very complicated. Yes, well, I, th I think we've been described as the official lunatics because we work with the moon. <laughs> and how does this affect what you are able to do? I mean, do you get Ofsteaded like everybody else? Yes, we actually have two Ofsteads, even though we are a federation. So we've got one Ofsted for each school. And we're quite proud of the fact that in 2006 we had... Um, outstanding for both schools and again in 2010 outstanding for both schools. Amazing. Now I've already seen your promotional video and it doesn't dwell on any sort of technology but I know it's in the school because I see it all the, all the way around. Do you want to explain how, how you deal with that? Well the technology is there um, we don't have a computer suite it's um, in all of the learning areas within school or an open plan school um, and as a result, the children can access the computers as and when they need them. It is just another tool for the children to access and to use to support their learning. One of your learning approaches is very special. It's called the Mantle of the Expert. Mm -hmm. Can you describe what that is and how, how is that making the children learn differently? And is it better? Yes, it is better. Having worked um, within the constraints of the national curriculum, um, what we have done with the mantle of the expert is change how we work completely. The children set up a company and they then drive the learning forward. They drive it, we facilitate. So we had an example, a, a beautiful example of that was um, we were running a cold case company looking at the Lindis Farm Viking heritage and a box arrived and the children wouldn't allow us to open the box in case we contaminated the evidence. So that was the teachers planning out of the window and we then had to start again. But you're harnessing the children's enthusiasm and you're harnessing the earnestness of play so that they have a real context for their learning all the way through. And how do you think the children react to the mantle? Oh, well, it depends on the child. Um, the very young children in reception, we had um, a, a one child react quite badly and didn't like the noise that it involved. And once they get used to it, um, they move forward very, very quickly. So that writing has purpose. The children really enjoy the mantle and talk about it with enthusiasm and talk about it. Can remember when we did this and we did that? And all of their learning experiences mean something, but they're embedded within the children. So you would say that's part of the impact on, yes. on the children's learning. What other sorts of impact have they They're actually referencing, all of the time, they're referencing their learning in other subject areas because it's all brought together um, and it's taught cross-curricular. That they, they talk about... Can, well, we did that one. Can you remember when we did that? We, when we did the poetry books, we did all about haikus. and They will talk about things endlessly and make the connections between their learning. Have you had to do anything physical to your school to deal with this approach? Yes, we have. Um, we have taken down walls and we've removed doors so that now we have this open plan learning space that all of the children inhabit. And it means that we can teach the whole school all together and they're all involved right from the age of four in the mantle. And then work is differentiated according to the children's needs. Sounds very exciting. Now... If other schools were thinking about taking the mantle approach, what would your advice to them be? Do it. Go for it. Um, we start, it's been a long journey, we started um, about six years ago and we did one day's mantle and then it grew into, well let's try it for a week and now we run a mantle for a term and then at the end of the term we change the mantle and have a new one. And it's taken a long time and it's getting your staff on board it's getting the children on board and it's making sure that you have your assessments in place, that you are tracking every individual child. But do it, because it's a job. Thank you, Christy. You're both welcome. Harold. Hello. When you
you first joined the schools as an NQT, mm -hmm. what was your knowledge or experience of the mantle of the expert? Uh, it was quite limited, actually. Um, the course I'd done had, I don't think, made any reference to it. I had come across it through a personal piece of research I'd done uh, for one of my assignments, um, but I knew very little about it as a, as a whole concept. Um, when I researched the school as part of the job, uh, for, to get the job, um, before the interview, I did further research into it then, but that was very much in prep for, for the interview. So starting it off was very much a learning experience for you? Yeah, very much so. So, using that approach, the mantle approach, how did you manage the learning experience? Um, I think what became ex extremely clear very quickly was the fact that um, when we were doing the mantle, we needed very clear objectives. If we didn't have clear educational objectives and a clear educational direction, then all the creative stuff would work fine, 